Uh, easy mulligan, I think. You just can't keep these hands thinking that Saga's gonna go all the way. This hand's really good, though. Um, it may even be a turn one Urza Saga draw, just so I can get double cookbook plus time sieve going quickly. Although I need the second colored source. I guess, yeah, I guess I'll just actually put back second Saga. What is it, Dallas event? It is a Dreamhack Dallas. Um, so Dreamhack, from what I understand, is a big like esports convention where like all the cool esports people get to hang out and make out and stuff. Uh, but there's there is it, the first uh, regional qualifier for the the Pro Tour is going to be at Dreamhack Dallas, the first one since the return to the Pro Tour. So. It's kind, of, it's kind of going to be a special tournament, I think, just, like, getting to, like, return to the first one of these. Um, I'm really excited for it. It is open invite, yes. Uh, but, so, how it works is you have to, you have to get a pass for the event, right? You have to sign up. But there's no online registration. You have to show up in person to register for the event. So, it is, uh, it's a bit janky. Kind of expecting something to go wrong too, but whatever. Um, what are you doing here? I kind of like just casting time sieve. Pay for Sentinel. And then next turn I get a second cookbook going. And I, I like casting from the hand here so I can potentially uh, chump block or block with Emery to not um, take a big hit from a hammer. This Dallas qualifier for PT. No, it's it's for the regional champs. It's the it's the first qualifier in paper for the regional champs. We have a cauldra. That's fine. Okay, so we got to three tokens, then up to five tokens off the cookbook. Manufacturer wins. I'm trying to think if I want to make a token. Token wouldn't be too bad here. But I kind of like the idea of trying to dig for something better with Emery. Like another cookbook would be so nice. Manufacturers win the game. Another cookbook, there we go. Oh, whoops, I forgot. I didn't realize I had two Sentinels now. I mean, although, we are hoping to just take it down now. So I guess I don't need to care that much about them drawing the card. You're good, Ashanti. GG to you. Alright, so next turn. Okay, getting the fourth cookbook now gives me infinite turns. Awesome. GG. I guess I should have cast the Asmo already to show them. But I can uh I could just you know replay the bobble with him, reset the bobble. You know, I, I used to always talk about how, like, you usually need a fourth, uh, you need, I need a manufacturer to take infinite turns, but the reality is, um, because you have so many ways to tutor cookbook, it's actually pretty often not that, it's not the case that you need a, uh, manufacturer to take infinite turns, because, like, you can actually just get, like, four cookbooks without that much trouble. But we're going to get some game objects. But it still hasn't conceded. They may be asking themselves the question, hmm, Spike, I see that you're taking infinite turns, but how are you winning? Okay. <laughs> winning now, just killing all the creatures with Asmo. Attacking for a bunch. Am I milling them out there on Sentinels? I, I wasn't, like, consciously doing it, but <laughs> I guess that's a line you can take, huh? So we got the two spell bombs, one time sieve, one Emery, three unearths, one shredder. I feel like I've been doing like slightly different numbers each time. I think I'm gonna play actually four sieve, two shredder. It's close though. Just trying to figure it out a little bit. Yeah, Sentinel is not a May, but I mean it, it doesn't matter. Like there's no um <laughs> there's no way to lose that game. Oh, easy keep. Uh, 
I think I'm gonna just prismatic ending that on turn one off of a godless shrine. I think an island off the strand. Then we can go cookbook, discard daredevil, cast every turn two. You still prefer this version of a period of mirror? Yeah, I, I do. I mean, they're the same deck, but like this one just has a better sideboard. Like the, the main deck is the same besides the mana. Do I want to cast Asma? I think I want to cast Emery. Yeah, we can go Cookbook, Emery here. Don't think we need to care that much about Relic. Yeah, cards like Relic just aren't like that good against us. Milling over two more Cookbooks is kind of awkward though. We only have one more left in the deck. We're probably losing some of those to the Relic. Let's see what happens. My opponent might just, you know, they may not pop the Relic. As we've seen is the tendency of some players. What's the best cranial extraction as target? Removing time series the best cookbooks. Uh, needling cookbook or surgically cookbook is the best if you can. Okay. So kind of, I was kind of scared of that, but now we have uh, both Asmo and Spellbomb. Get in there, Emery. Yeah, so kind of hoping that they don't needle my cookbooks. Hoping they like needle spell bomb. Is Sturdy sounds good. Uh, Sturdy sounds is good against my deck. It's okay against Hammer Time. You know, one thing you have to ask yourself about Stony Silence is like, what decks are you playing it in? Like in um, Omnath, you would probably want to play Collector Oof, right? So that you can. Um, they do name Aether Spell Bomb. Uh, you probably want to play Collector so that you can Aladarmy's Call for it. I think that means we're dead. We're not dead. Cut, thank you for the five months. Appreciate you. It's a pretty good one. Although I, I do think I'm taking an extra turn here. Or trying to. Don't want to attack Asmo into a possible hammer. Okay, we don't have another cookbook in the deck, so that's actually not uh, really much help. I've actually been, you know, one thing that's really excited me about um, this list is that I think I've, I've, I'm pretty, I feel pretty confident that the White Splash makes the deck a, a significant amount better. Um, and, like, I just keep seeing the Demir list, like, top eighting, and, like, people show me it's, like, winning small local tournaments and stuff. Gigantha, I choose you! And we like this hand well enough to keep. We have Minamo Emery. I think I'm supposed to hold the bobble so that I could try to draw one mana spell and play it next turn. Like that one. Oh boy. Um, I guess I want to unearth Asmo over Manufacturer because I don't currently have a cookbook. Pretty good turn two though. I'm going to combat. I will block. If they want to heat my Asmo, leave me with Emery and uh, get two for one, I accept. If this is Fury, I accept as well. Hurricane Giganta. You can cast up Springleaf Drum or Manufactor, but you mostly want it in the deck to discard to Cookbook when you need an extra card to discard or um, to. Uh, get uh, get you through Blood Moon. If you're playing Blood Moon Zoo, you can grab Gigantha, slam it, get blue black mana. And they do have Fury, it's okay. I can Spellbomb if they have an Undying effect. 
a lot of resources traded here. Definitely feel like I came out ahead in the exchange where like they had to thoughts is the card I tutored. I still have Spellbomb Bobble. Not too scared of the Kroxa with Spellbomb Daredevil. See if they, they might shuffle it though. A lot of good top decks here too. Yorion is Solitude Fodder. Gigantha is Cookbook Broth. Beautiful. And slowing down a little bit. Some good draws. <clears throat> I guess the discard deck, I, I'm just going to play the Manufactor. And then they draw the Kroxa, which is great for me because I have both Daredevil and Spellbomb. Dream Magnet next weekend. This weekend. It's going to be in four days. Um, I'm, gonna tr I'm going to try to live stream it. Uh... Hitoshi just sent me this, he sent me the specs that he has. He also offered to let me borrow his equipment, but I think I, I'm i gonna try to just use my own. Or get my own, then use my own. I don't need to spell bomb their graveyard this turn. We get tokens, so, I, oh, I could, already, sorry, I could already cast the Emery for one. All right, just concedes. But I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to uh, IRL stream it. I've never done an IRL stream before. I, I don't know that it's gonna go well, but I'm gonna try to have fun with it. So my opponent should be on Voidwalker as the graveyard hate of choice. So I think I probably want to just be on Bone Shards. So I guess Bone Shards is kind of awkward against Voidwalker. This also kills Fury, kills Grief, kills Ob, kills everything, obviously. Seems fine. Yeah, it'll probably be a little scuffed. Like, it, yeah, yeah Anderog's also going to stream it. And, and obviously, like, if it just ends up being too scuffed and there's too many technical problems, I'll just, you know, stop streaming and enjoy my weekend. So the the floor seems really, <laughs> really high of stopping streaming and getting to enjoy the weekend. And then what's also cool about streaming this is, like, Doomwake's going to be there. Esther's going to be... Uh, I, got, I, I don't know how much, like, she's going to want to be up at DreamHack, but they gave me a plus one when I signed up, so... Um, so I, I just chose Esther as the plus one. <laughs> Although we may be dead from snakes. Those of you who missed it earlier, there's a snake in the house earlier, just like a little garden snake, but... I don't know how it got there. There's a snake in my house. I feel burnt out playing this deck. Uh, no, this deck is like so freaking fun. <laughs> I don't know, not yet. My my threshold for burnout is also like usually pretty high. Pretty good, pretty good start for my opponent, huh? It's just cycling main phase because I find Bobble. Saga's not terrible, I guess. You give me the plus one. They have like this program where if you're a content creator, you can sign up for DreamHack and they'll give you like free pass. I kind of I kind of think that there was no barrier to entry. I actually think anybody could just be like, I'm a content creator and get a free pass. Um, I could be wrong about that. Oh, dude, they hit Shredder. I could be wrong about that, but I, it didn't, I it, that's kind of, that was kind of the vibe I was getting that like anybody could just be like, that's me and then get in. I'm more known than I know. Yeah, sure, but like, I don't know. Like, I I see like like there's a like basically every like content creator I know on uh, for MTG also got this deal. Good for them. I'm happy for them, right? But um, it it also kind of seems like like be, because it looks like just everybody got it looks like just everybody got an invite is what I'm saying. Okay, I don't want to cast this trigger connive and not be able to block the ragaban, so I'll just. Get this pass. I'm not saying that that's a bad way to do it. Like, fine. I, I think it's good that they're letting... They're not, like, you know... There's no, like, real vetting process. No. Or, I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? What pass do we need to buy if we just play the MTG tournament? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the exact the pass you need. Sure, someone in chat can help out though. I cut my uh, shadow spear. 
Although a triple manufacturer, I probably just want a cookbook. Alright. Hopefully they have bolt and don't realize they could just discard a card to grow the construct here. If they have push, it's obviously or cola <laughs> Cloth is forbid, cola guns command. No! Alright. Okay. I accept. Maybe I was supposed to discard a manufacturer so I could go actually token. Oh, did it? Spell bomb? Stop. But I could go token, manufacturer, have full major region. So I guess I'm not making a token into the spell bomb, probably. That is a really good draw. Oh, sorry. I just immediately started making a token. Okay. Put a not activating spell bomb ever. Or 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 activate activating either spell bomb actually, <laughs> just never ever activating either spell bomb. <laughs> okay, steal. Oh, they also didn't play slowly last turn too. So we get nine tokens for each tap of a cookbook. Now they decide to bounce the manufacturer after I've got all the value off of it. Bolt's another one. That's good. Down to four life as well. The fourth manufacturer was my top card. Unreal. Let's work with the Ragavan. Are they casting it? They're conniving a ob. So I guess I'm going to take two and discard a Daredevil. Then it'll make me discard my Manufactor. Oh, they made a they made a, a Devil. And then they didn't play Liliana. Paid actor, I guess. Sorry, I need to always, yes, always yield. And then they conceded. Okay, well, we shouldn't have won that game. I don't know what to say. Oh, Odessa, I think with the deck tech, get that going. I think it's Burn, which is a very good matchup, too. Very good matchup. Um, I think I'm just going to get a tapped Watery Grave here. Where I, I want to get Watery Grave. Um, and I don't want to shock to play the Shadow Spear just yet. Kind of scared of an Eidolon here by holding the Bobble, but I think I'm, I th I, I would want to play Shredder over Emery next turn, anyways. Mm, we've messed around with like Red Green Saga in the past, so we we had another like Red Green mid range deck tech earlier today uh, that I had some thoughts on. You know, I've spent some time working on like straight Red Green. Uh, mid-range decks in modern for, for a few times and in my experience like what you really need to make this archetype work is either blood moon or if you're going to play this saga version you need to be playing uh traverse the uven wall to go along with your channelers so you can tutor for like a main deck magus of the moon main deck endurance so that you have some game against the more linear combo decks and big mana decks otherwise you're just your clock is going to be too slow against big mana combo and you're not going to have any meaningful interaction um, you also do have, like, Rin and Six Beseju, which helps some in those matchups, too. Um, ooh, dude, Searing Blaze is rough here. 
But that that is again uh, that is always the issue I find with this archetype is that you're okay in the grindy matchups, you're totally fine, but you are like you just have like no game against big mana combo. Down to five. What a great draw my opponents had. Um, what are you doing here? I probably have to make a token. Probably have to make a token, not crack the bubble. Um, so you, you can look at the stream decker. It's, it's pretty buried deep, but like... I would recommend sticking just to straight, not not being Naya. I think the Naya is not a good direction to go here, or the White Splash doesn't give you like really any of that equity that I was talking about uh, in, the, in the matchups that you struggle in. Okay, we get to untap. So I need to think: Am I going to go sack? Am I going to sack a food token, or am I going to play Shadow Spear equip? I kind of like sacking food token more, so I'm going to crack the bobble. They have Searing Blaze? Why wouldn't they have attacked? That was a huge punt for them to not attack. Skull crack on top. Still glad I cracked, I guess. So to float a mana. Have to get a cookbook. And I can go. I know my opponent, my opponent has a Rift Bolt on top, and then they have a Searing Blaze, but they need another Burn Spell to kill me if I gain three. So I think I should try to just put, like, Asmo Emery into play. So I so I should go Floating Mana. Oh, sorry, no. Just discard Emery. Cast Emery. Play Saga. Cast Asmo, crack food. I go up to five, and my opponent needs to have uh, their last card be a one mana burn spell for me to die here, right? Oh no, sorry, what am I What am I saying? I'm just dead, I'm just dead. I don't know why I thought that I wasn't dead to the skull crack for some reason. Oh, but they, did they shuffle the skull crack away? They shuffle the skull crack away. Yeah, I know they suspended rift. For whatever reason, I thought I was still alive. Okay, maybe I'm also wrong with them. No, I, I, I cracked after. I, I didn't have an out then. I didn't have an out. I don't know why my I just totally like I don't know. Totally miscounted. Okay, let's get these spell bombs. Uh, I think go down to one time sieve. Trim one manufacture one emery. Yeah, so again, go straight red green, play four copies of Traverse the Uvenwald, and then you're gonna want to be playing like I I guess the mag the Magus is always awkward with the the Sagas, maybe Cyborg the Magus, you may make an Endurance for the Living End matchup. Um, maybe you can still splash white and you can play like... White hate cards in the main? Archon, perhaps? Maybe not Archon. I'm not sure. This is always a tough part with these decks. But at the very least, like, even being just able to traverse for Besage you and loop it with Renin 6 gives you so much equity against Tron and Titan, which is the matchups you really need to, to get that equity against. Um... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to play two Soul Guide Lanterns in the main either. I, I can pull up, like, the last list I played to kind of, like, give you a direction to go. Let me do that. What I call it, the list. Bay Biscuit with the seven months. Appreciate ya. Okay, I'll, I'll look for it over on this monitor. Are there? I mean, the, both the spell bombs are really good with Emery, and they're both good because of the flex spots for Saga. I, I don't. I don't think I would leave home without them. Um, I'm obviously keeping this. I don't know how I'm sequencing. I think Basic Island Cookbook Pass. Don't need to play around Eidolon yet. And then... I don't think I deleted the list. It is somewhere in the stream decker. There's, there's definitely been YouTubes of it too. 
Okay, Goblin Guide, hitting me time save. So let's go Bobble, one mana Emery. Very lucky to mill over an Oval Chase Daredevil. Um, although, what do we disc? I guess we'll just disc the time save's not bad here, though, is the, is the thing. I do need to play my Asthma this turn, I think. Let's just discard Watery Grave. It's kind of weird. Oh, I milled over my Swamp. That's kind of awkward. Should have probably got actually uh, Godless Shrine. But off to a very good start here. Very good turn two. Yeah, I, I don't know where the, my list is. I'm sorry. Maybe someone can dig it up. It's in the YouTube. It's in the stream deck or somewhere. But like just red green delirium is I think the direction you need to go. These like Naya decks with lots of removal. They're very good against the creature decks. Uh, but they're like but like but they do a worse job of being good against the creature decks than Omnath does, and they have like just no game against big mana combo, is the problem. To just you know summarize the points, I guess. Okay. Um. I'm at 14. I, sh I should, I think, just go double cookbook here instead of being super scared and gaining the life. Because I, I, I also am going to get to uh, either kill Goblin Guide to kill my Asmo and or uh, just start taking turns with Time Sieve. I only have, I only left it one Time Sieve too. Burn like an auto win. We did lose game one, but I, I do think that Burn is one of our best matchups. Will we ever see Night of the Reliquary in Modern again? Uh, I don't... I don't know that we ever really saw it in competitive modern. Like, like I know, like the like Kibler had some Knight of the Reliquary decks, I guess, right? But I I don't know. I've been playing modern a long time. I I don't really know that I can recall a time where Knight of the Reliquary was at the forefront of playability in modern. Or even like. I don't know, like anything beyond like super fringe playable, I can't ever recall. Night of the Reliquary being any more than that. Nightfall's a thing? Yeah, I mean, yeah, again, very fringe playable. Nightfall, like some Night of the Reliquary zoo decks. I can't, I, I don't know, I, I, I can't imagine like Night of the Reliquary making the cut without like Dark Depths being printed or unbanned. And even then, there's just better options. Don't forget to bobble. I was going to play Cookbook off Emory, not bobble. Okay. Uh, one game two. I'm going to click submit for game three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At the very beginning, it was in the Nyazu deck, but that deck is like just a relic of <laughs> a format that does not exist anymore. Uh, we can keep this. I may, um, I may want to go discard Shredder, then unearth it turn two off the bobble. Oh, sorry, and then connive off the bobble. So we'll just see what happens. I think that that is going to be my plan, though. Obviously bad into Eidolon. I think they have Smash the Smithereens. Okay, Asmo, really good, really good card to be on top, uh, even if we're not um, finding our second land. I, yeah, I really think they've got Smash to Smithereens this turn, though. So I'm going to go discard Shredder. And they smash down to 12. Unearth Shredder, it would be great to find a land for Asmo here. But getting that two four is really nice too. Now this Master Smithereens uh, is good for them. Still don't have another land. Four cards in their hand. One of them smash. Fetching Swamp is bold. I think it's pretty correct. Sometimes you got to be kind of bold, huh? All right, Shredder drew us two cards. We drew off the bobble, still no land, but thank you, Goblin Guide. The loyal, loyal Goblin Guide. Oh, well, this turn, I think I just have to go Odawara sack this to just remove the 
remove the smash target because we know they have smash. It was rough. Unearth on top. So we get shock down to six, prismatic ending down to four, and then unearth the shredder. I don't really think we have any other lines. Because we know one of the two cards is Smash, like they have to, the two unknown cards have to be both castable burn spells. Oh no, I tapped wrong. I tapped wrong. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, that's a, this is this is just game losing now to one burn spell. Fuck. Sorry. Under the first, under the first, I take two more damage by Lon. So chat lost to a great matchup. On the play, unknown matchup. Kind of a weak hand. Small again. Go to five. Give me the seven back. Yeah, the Phoenix deck is pretty nuts. Yeah, red black is a fine choice too. I think I would rather play this over red black. Just like I'm just worried. I'm just worried about the amount of Omnath there is. Okay. Uh, good five. Not, I don't know what my, my game plan is necessarily. I feel like I'm probably going to go Cookbook, Discard Manufactor, Unearth Manufactor. And I don't have a second Black Source, but I guess I can cast Asmo off the here. So let me... So I think I put back Shredder, and then... Fountain? It's kind of weird to put back Fountain, but I think it makes sense. Obviously, the sand is like very weak to interaction, but like most mold of fives are. Yeah, I, I like blue black Merc Tide Shadow too. Um, that 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 that's I think that's the one like when we've been like listing decks, like people keep going, oh, what about that one? I'm like, oh yeah, I keep forgetting about it. <laughs> okay, your land is good. Oh, I'm actually maybe just discarding the land. Really need to find a Daredevil. But Asmo's good in this matchup. We've got, you know, now um, Manufacturer Double Cookbooks. And the play against a non interactive matchup. I, I don't think I'm super likely to play Grixis Shadow. I, I don't know. The deck's fine. Um, I've also played it out of like a lot of paper tournaments. But I, I, I think I would prefer to play like Shredder Murktide over Shadow at the moment. They have Besage you. I think they have Besage you. Okay, they're going to have three amulets for next turn. We have Asmo. Only one activation, though. Might not be enough. I think Black Red Rock is better, worse place than that game compared to the last time I worked on it. Uh, not not super different to be honest. I think it's good. I, I think it's good. I thought it was like solid last time too. Like uh, last time we were working really hard on it was obviously after the Luris ban. Uh, it carried us during the trophy race while the oh they they don't have a bounce line in their hand. It's so good for us. Like it carried us really hard during the trophy race while Luris was still legal, and then um. I, I thought it was a totally fine, reasonable way to build the deck after that. And then, like, you know, a lot of new cards for Jund came out, like Riveteer's Charm, Triome, and I was messing around with, like, various Jund Saga brews, too. So, I, I mostly just put the deck down because I played it nonstop during the trophy race, and I'm only, like, kind of now getting unburned out on that deck. The devil comes down to DFW looking for a soul to steal. He challenges me to a match with modern. I win a solid gold tournament legal back lotus. If I lose, the devil gets my soul. What deck am I playing? Well, what deck would the devil choose? The devil would probably choose Neo Form and then cheat and have a turn one win. So I would probably have to play a deck with force of negation. Fiddle Pender, <laughs> that's a good, good answer. Okay, I'm gonna play out the second cookbook. It's a good, the saga's a good draw there. Now we've got two asthma activations. We can get a lot better with two. 
Yeah, I feel like I feel like the I feel like the devil like definitely is playing Oopsol spells or Belcher or Neoform and has a turn one win. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to metagame the devil. <laughs> but won't he also just like when he shuffles my deck, he'll just stack it to have me lose too. <clears throat> I'd play I would play a deck with force of negation. Why no second Asmo get third book? Um, well, if I go discard Bobble for turn, I guess, or like, what, what, what other card am I discarding? Like, isn't it just better? I, I'm, I'm confused what you want me to discard to take that line. So I kill this Azusa. Fuck. All right, so they have three seven mana right now if, if i kill azusa if i don't kill azusa they have 11 mana if i kill azusa they have seven mana so they cast their titan they cast their titan and then they get um they don't have enough they in order for them to double titan i think they would need to have two titans already in hand i don't think that they can you need you need three amulets in play to go semi growth chamber t west transmute right because you get growth chamber T West, that's gonna be nine trans. Oh wait, hold on. Wait, you, with two amulets, you can just get growth chamber, growth chamber, T West, on top twice. Oh, that's that's just, that's just six mana, not nine. So I think I killed those. So it's close. When the devil register legacy and no, I think that like you have to. I think the devil cheats, right? But it has to like abide by the rules, right? Because at least in D and D, devils are lawful evil, and then demons are chaotic evil. So a demon would register ant and sell you tough shit. But I think the devil would pl would play by the rules, but would just cheat. Okay, so they actually don't get an extra land drop off of dryad because they played an extra land off of Azusa already. They don't get an extra land off dryad. So like so like it's it's a bit weird, but the, like this says you may play an additional land on each of your turns. They've already played an additional land that turn. So they would have needed the Azusa to still be in play in order to get the extra land here. So this is this is huge for us, obviously. I think it seems like they don't know that. It seems like they don't know that interaction. Oh, because they updated Rakdos. We, we trophied with it. It felt good. I, I think... I don't know. I want to play at least one Hearse main deck. I think the first Hearse is really good. Yeah, it, it used to work the other way. I feel like I've lost a lot of games against tight players just doing random shit. And the two of us not knowing what they were doing was illegal. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Okay, but this gives them this gives them extra mana. The explore. So if they have Titan, they can Titan again. Fuck. <sighs> Two explorers. Oh man. I think that they're still one mana short of double Titan, but I could I could be misremembering. Assuming, I mean, they might just have two Titans in their hand and we're dead, but. Yeah, they, they need nine mana to get T West, Summit Growth Chamber, Transmute for Summer's Pack, get another Titan. I count that they only have eight. But obviously, if they just have another Titan in their hand, we're kind of boned. Kill Dryad. Killing Dryad right now doesn't do anything, right? Oh, oh no! Killing Dryad in response to Explore. Oh! Hippo, thank you for the 14 months. Appreciate ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Killing Dryad in response to Explore stops them from being able to cast Titan. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, why? I mean, the same, the same reason they couldn't... So they, they've already played one extra land this turn from their Azusa. I killed the Azusa in response. They played Dryad. They couldn't play an extra land because Dryad says you may play an additional land on each of your turns. And they've already done that. They've already played an additional land. So with Explorer on the stack, if I kill the Dryad, Explorer would say you may play an additional land this turn. They've already done that. 
Um, and I, they would not be able to play another land. Definitely, like, a weird rules interaction that's, like, not that intuitive, but... They get Beseju T-West. So maybe they're casting another Titan here. I would love to see them just not float any more mana. How many turns? They've cast so many spells this turn. It doesn't stack. It used it used to stack. How do they have Grazer in their hand? How is there still an Arboreal Grazer in their hand? How? <laughs> How? <laughs> so they can. So they're picking up the Besage They're going to channel Besage instead of T Westing here. They're going to make a construct. <laughs> it's so brutal that they haven't cast a freaking Summoner's Pact yet this game. <laughs> It's like at the very least, Summer's Pack, sometimes you get a break. We're not getting a break next turn. And I think they're gonna kill it. They're gonna kill my Manufactor, right? They kill my second cookbook. Okay. So we're gonna need some help here. I don't think I'm making a token this turn. It's like a clue. That'll do. That'll do. Um, and we get another cookbook. Yeah, we win. We win because we get another uh, cookbook off our saga next turn. <laughs> what a game! <laughs> Hold the five. That game. <laughs> They could have won last turn. I, I I don't I I don't think so. You could maybe tell me how, but I don't I don't I don't think so. They could have transmuted that turn for double titan. I w I counted that they were one mana short of transmuting for double titan. Um. Maybe I counted wrong, but I did count a couple times. So maybe you're wrong. I kind of waffle back on like the numbers of shredders on Earth's endings. I feel I feel like I am liking ending more and more in this matchup because it can answer like answering amulet kind of feels like the most important thing, just to slow them down. And because they're an amulet deck, they can have needle. They can have artifact based graveyard hate, which is important. But specifically, needle is such a hard card to beat that I don't even think that amulet usually plays it. But I guess I need to double check that. They have Grazer so they could double Titan. That's true, yes. With Grazer they could have. That's right, that's right. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how they still have the Grazer in the hand. It's just like, that turn went on for so long. They started that turn with Azusa. I killed Azusa. They go Dryad. We have a conversation about the Cat Dryad. Then they go Explore, Explore, Titan. I, I just, like, they also, I just, they still had the, the, the Black Lotus Grazer. It's crazy. Uh, this hand is good, but we do need to draw Black Source, but we're on the draw. We have a few looks. We're going to keep. Besage Cookbook is a great misplay. Yeah, I think we're supposed to kill the Manufactor instead if they're going to Besage you main phase. Let's multi five. How do you fight Grief Ephemerate Grief? I hate the combo. Should always keep seven if it's bad. Well, um, most of the Grief Ephemerate decks aren't going to have that combo very often i would say it's like probably like 15 to 20 percent of the hands have that combo um if you are on the play and you just have a hand that has two one mana removal spells too the combo doesn't really do anything so that's maybe oh they have the sage on top so i'm like max punish for cracking bobble main phase um that should have been a better habit there uh although no i want to main phase no i want to main phase because i could draw daredevil that's right Um, trying to think what other points there are, but yeah, I mean you could just take the beats too. Like the gr grief, ephemerate grief is annoying, but it's also at the end of the day, like they get, they're up one card and they're like ahead on board early. But it's it's super beatable. It is it's annoying, but 
Uh, annoying is not does not equal uh, broken. No black man is pretty tough here. How much amulet do I expect a dream hack? Um, non I, I expect a non-zero amount of amulet a dream hack. Um, but I, I don't necessarily expect it to be super popular. Okay, I should probably discard. I should probably get back my daredevils now. Because they can get graveyard hate off the saga. Although, I don't know what I'm discarding. Probably just discard Asmo actually, because I don't have black mana for it. I want to leave the cookbook in the hand so I can go Manufactor. Daredevil. Discard, 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 discard. What if I have time save? Discarding Asmo is so weird though. Oh, I guess I could have cast the Asmo off the Manufactor. Yeah, that was a big mistake actually. That was a big mistake. Anyone anyway, pretty popular big text events? Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's like there. I feel like it's about as popular as Magic Online. Although we may just be dead right now. Rice ball thing for six months? <laughs> I do feel like I've played against Amulet like once every paper tournament, but... I don't know. It's so hard to predict. Yeah, I think we're getting turn three'd. Although I'm not going to concede, like... If they don't, if they don't kill me, which I, I think, I think they sh should be able to put me to two if they just have the double strike right. Uh, I haven't, I haven't played the MTG Wordle though. Yeah, now, now it's lethal. We'll, we'll, we'll let them show us that Titan is one of their last cards though, right? Okay, I don't think that they slided up their Titans. We'll go to game three. Click submit on the play for game three. Lucky to win that game one, I guess. Bob Jones, for two months, appreciate you. We'll be on the play, companion. Uh, this hand's two. Obviously, we, if we had a cookbook, this hand's nuts, we just don't. Uh, okay. I think I'll put back second thoughtsies. And the rest of the hand definitely needs help, but we do have a lot of good draws. In fact, it could be good to just hold the bobble, because if we hold bobble, then Imri and Shredder both become much better draws. Although, I, tri I trimmed two Shredders. I'm probably going to pop it. Let's hold the six. Did they multi five that game, actually? I think they multi five that game. Yeah, that was a turn three kill on the multi five. Gross. What do they flip the mana before casting Summoner's Pact? Uh, just to make sure that you're not going to like do anything to mess up, you know, disrupt you. Not that there really is anything, it's just probably a good habit to be in. Scary to see that Saga. Ooh. I think I need to take the map because they, they just really need to draw Bounce Land. Oh, we drew a cookbook, that's awesome. Really good draw. Not only does that make my Manufactor a lot better, but it makes my top deck so much better too. Time Civ, Asmo, uh, Emery. So they had a Saga, Dryad, Primeval Titan. Oh, ooh, interesting. I guess I would actually play Shredder. It's kind of close. LeBron, Stan, thank you Twitch Prime. Appreciate you. Here comes Saga. Dryad, Primeval Titan, Vesufa, now Mystery Card. Hopefully Mystery Card, not Bounce Land. Okay, and now, now Punish for playing the Shredder first here. Although I guess I will play the Manufactor now. Still lots of good top decks. Alright, one of the two Mystery Cards, not a Bounce Land. They shouldn't have another map for their Saga either. Thank you, LeBron. Appreciate you. Shout out to all the YouTube lurkers. Opponent is thinking about playing the Vesuva. I think they will probably copy Saga. Saga. 
So I can crack a clue, or I... Oh, I can't bounce the Odawara. I'm one mana short. All right, clue crack it is. Good, very good draw, obviously. Very, very good draw, too. So I think we don't need to kill the Dryad yet. Because we know my opponent's hand is Titan Mystery Card. They, should be, they shouldn't have another uh, map in the deck. I don't think they'll have two ever. And if they play a Bounce Land, we can think about killing the Dryad. But I don't think it's going to be relevant. Otherwise, unless their hand is like Untap Land, Untap Land, or Castle. But even in the case of that... We don't need to kill the Dryad first, because we can just Asma activate, kill Dryad in response to Valakid triggers, or kill Titan in response to Haste Lands. Yeah, Field wasn't banned because of Titan, but boy, did banning Field make Titan way less obnoxious. <laughs> Needle Asmo. Um, if they do Needle Asmo here, they're not... I guess they could still maybe get me. I don't think I'm supposed to activate, though, still. Especially not if they're making a construct. They make a construct is great news for me. I'm glad that my gambit of taking the expedition map paid off. I feel like it was, <laughs> it felt risky to me, but it does seem like it paid off pretty well. Okay, so we'll go second manufactor. Game objects, game objects. We always yield, then always yes. We, I think we've determined that this is correct when you have two manufacturers in play. But when you just have one, it's like really not any faster. But like you can't, you can, you have to always, always yes every time you discard is, is the pain. We'll go sack a clue. Uh, sack a clue. Okay, now we'll go Emery. Oh, I, I didn't realize I'd already cast a spell this turn. Oh, obviously the Manufactor, I just kind of forgot. Uh, okay, I guess I will now... Sack one more clue. Try to find Time Sieve. Don't find Time Sieve. Cast Manufactor number three, or put Manufactor number three into play. Um... Attack with everything, kill both my opponent's creatures. Double strike land on top. They they can oh well they can actually can't cast a Titan just with the cards we know because they don't have um double green. Yeah, it would be unusual for an amiable player to have needle. I am kinda scared of it though. But that's true. Although maybe they should have it. Like, they are a Saga deck. Like, it is really good against Yawgmoth. But maybe your Yawgmoth matchup is just already really good. Then they get map. No, the map is uh, discarded. We discarded with Thoughtseize turn one. Okay, 3 1 this league. Uh, Looks like a reasonable hand. Let's keep. Artifact deck is playable paper. People keep saying that it's like hard to play in paper. I, I can't imagine that it's that tricky. Like, I, I feel like it's going to be fine. I, I'm planning on playing it in paper. Canister said that he played it at, at FNM and it was fine too. Although, I always take everything Canister says super seriously and <laughs> the seriousness of all of Canister's statements can be called into question. Okay, definitely just going to keep the cookbook on top so I can go turn to Saga Asmo cookbook. Yeah, I hope my shredder, I really hope my shredders come today. Um, what's nice about, like, what's nice is that, like, it, it's and also kind of funny, uh, but, like, shredder should be the only card I'm really missing um, because Doomwake is coming to visit and he's, I think, planning to play Rhinos and he should have all the other food cards because I'm, I'm missing, like, cookbooks and stuff. Um... But, <laughs> I, I have one Shredder. I own one Shredder. <laughs> Alright, this card my cookbook. 
We'll take the two for one. It's a good old grief blade. Let's play Saga. Two manufacturers of Cookbaker makes you four of each token. No, th uh, three of each token. Two manufacturers, three of each token. Three manufacturers, nine of each token. Uh, four manufacturers, 27 of each token. Which is, you know, not that common. Okay, so if they have... Why are they, why are they playing Shambling Vents and Reanimator? I kind of assumed that they were Stoneblade. It's kind of weird. Don't CFB have some Shredders? Uh, I mean, I'm sure CFB has some Shredders, but... Probably, like... <laughs> that's not the relationship of Chain of Fireball and, and me, where I just say... Chain of Fireball... Shredders now. Shredders. Shredders me. Many Shredders giving me a lot now. Grave Titan! Oh my gosh. What is this? I guess I'm going to go for Asthma this turn then. I guess the Grave Titan. Oh, then maybe I kind of want to make a token. It's close. I think because I can unearth an Asthma if it dies, I'll just cycle Asthma. <laughs> what? What? They're shambling basic planes and their cabal coffers, grief, or citrus supplier, reanimator to primeval titan deck? What in the world? What in the world? Alright, well. So I can get Nile Spellbomb here, but they don't have another good card in the graveyard. But maybe if I. I mean, if I kill this, I'll just kill it again. It's fine, I'll make a token. Yeah, hero deck confirmed, I guess. Hero deck confirmed. I'll call it main phase, because maybe they have Ephemerate, they are splashing white. <laughs> yeah, Evan is summoned by the Grave Titan. <laughs> it's a Grave Titan in the Cabal Coffer, Stitcher Supplier, Grief, Lingering Souls! Oh my gosh, now that's an unmarked Grave Target right there. Oh, this zombie is disgusting. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Where is this zombie from? This is gnarly. Alara, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, one of the Grixis, uh, Lara zombies. Very cool. A little bit, a little bit before my time. Alright, I got, I got a 9-9 Trampler. That's growing by at least three every turn. <laughs> Can I concede to them? <laughs> mm, sounds like someone who voted for 3-2. <laughs> I think I think we're getting a lingering souls flashback right here. Yep, that's a that's a good old lingering souls flashback. Good and honest uh, gameplay. Okay, so I've got a fourteen fourteen trampler. So my opponent needs to put five toughness in front of this construct. So they put five toughness here. I can attack with the asmo. They put three toughness here. I can just unearth the Asmo if the, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> all right, this is a, uh, this is a strat. Just close your eyes, put all the toughness in front. You have game, don't I? I don't, I'm not counting that I do, but um, you can maybe tell me how I do, I guess. So we milled over a good reanimation target, Archon. Rafine's Informant, 2 mana 2-2, two, two, connive. Or 2 mana 2-1, two, connive. 2-2 two, two would have been probably too good, I guess. Rafine's Informant. Bone shards, discard their priest to kill my construct, but they are dead to Shadow Spear equip on the Asmo. No need to like correct the bobble or anything. 
Well, that was game one. We're in the three one bracket too. I'll bring in my Soul Grade Lantern. <laughs> um Probably don't need to sweat too much about this match. Um, plus, playing a lot of tokens. I probably actually will leave in the Shadow Spear. Aether Spellbomb doesn't seem terrible. I'll probably just trim the drum. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see the sideboard plan. <laughs> Anything can happen. <laughs> Leyline, baby. Yeah, maybe. Uh, who knows? My opponent, I guess. I guess. I guess they're the one that knows. Uh, this hand's close. You probably keep and play Saga turn one. I think on the draw we can keep this. Okay, no Leyline. <laughs> There's that shambling Vince. <laughs> Good, honest American shambling Vince. I think I'm playing Saga turn one. Just screw making tokens, dude. It's never good to make a token. Okay, good thing there's Shambling Vince into tab, so I can still cast my, um... Hmm. I think I'm actually just gonna cast Aether Spell on this turn. Be Just be a little bit slower. With no uh, Daredevil in my hand. But now, I, I think I'm still going to go for Shredder. But, like, going for Emery, hoping to mill. If I, if, if I knew I was going to mill over a Daredevil with Emery, I would play the, the Emery for sure. If I don't play the Shredder this turn, it's not going to be that good. Esper Triumph, of course. Thank you so much, sweetheart. <laughs> Prismatic Vista in their Esper Triumph deck. I just don't understand. I just don't get it. <laughs> yeah, where is their loot tree? <laughs> I am uh, not meant to get it. I'm not supposed to understand. <laughs> a mark grave for Priest of Fell Rites. Just a normal thing that's happening this game. One daredevil, no daredevil, and nothing to unearth either. Oh boy, there we go. A little late to the party, but more than welcome. Okay, there's Urborg. <laughs> there's Urborg. Still, not really sure what's going on. And it looks like maybe we'll never get the chance to find out because we just um, found Time Sieve. There's just so many spots where you're just like dying to top deck a Time Sieve. I'm really happy playing the full four. Well, that was a, a match. Weird, weird league. Um, she went 3-2, 4-1, 4-1, 4, 11, 4 on the day with food. Kind of feel pretty good about that. I do want to play one, like, I remember like last week, I'm just like,
Thank <laughs> you.